Hello, welcome back to the Off Grid family. Uh, it was just recently Crystal's birthday and one of the gifts I got her was a bat detector, but it was a build-it-yourself kit from Amazon. It cost just under £20 and um, I'm going to get her to put it together because it's supposed to be straightforward and easy for a variety of age groups. And as Crystal's not very into electronics, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity for her to see if she can put it together. Because if she can put it together, then it should be okay for the, the majority of people. Um, so I'm going to get her to put it together. We'll do a little test and we'll see how how it works if it works at all because a lot of times things like this don't tend to work and um, there's mixed reviews online about whether this one does work or not um, but before I get on I'd just like to thank Darren our new patron keeping the channel going you really have helped me psychologically and financially and it just is so appreciated um, a huge number of new stuff coming out on the patron only stuff I've got some designs coming up that are just for you guys and there's some behind the scenes stuff and some secret projects that won't be released yet for um, the main viewers for quite some time so check out patreon now um if you'd like to become a patron yourself please pop into the description um don't do it unless you can afford it guys you know um, money is hard for everyone at the moment and i totally understand that um any designs and anything that do get put onto patreon will become free to you guys anyway you just have to wait a little bit longer because i'd like to give my patrons a little bit of a you know a bit of extra time with these sorts of things but anyway enough of that let's get on Okay, it was Crystal's birthday a little while ago, and she loves things like um, going out and seeing the bats and various other wildlifey kind of things. And I went looking for a bat detector. We've, in the past, been on many different bat walks, etc. And they've always got these detectors that can pick up um, the ultrasonic sounds of bats and then relay it to you so you can hear it. Um, and I couldn't find any on Amazon, and then the ones I could find on eBay were incredibly expensive. So I found this one, which is a build your own one. It was under £20, and I thought, well, it's supposed to be easy to put together and so on, and Crystal loves like puzzles and things like that, so I thought, I'll get this for her, and I'll let her put it together. She, do she doesn't know much about electronics, she's learned a little bit in her time, but this should be a really good view of whether this is easy to put together or not. I'll get it all out, we'll have a look what's in here. And then I'll let Crystal take over and she'll put it together. Okay, so this is obviously the box for it. Slight bit of damage to it. Okay. I'd assume that was probably supposed to be stuck to something. I'd say it was probably, yeah, it was supposed to be stuck here. Oh dear. Okay, so I have now glued this back in and it's all fine and good. I've laid out all the pieces in somewhat of a decent-ish order. Um, and I've had a quick look through the um, instructions. Now, oh, perfect. This page, um, I think, might be a little bit misleading to people who don't know about this stuff. It's speaking about... Um, Let's have a look. When mounting the ultrasonic microphone, you have to ensure that the mount, ma it's mounted in the correct orientation. One of the two terminals, grounded right side of the phone, blah, 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 is marked with a black dot. Um, it's electrically connected, blah, 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 right? Um, and they then put a black dot here, as if you need to know that there's a black dot there. And they put an R there. And it, to me, it looked like they were trying to say that there'll be either an R or a black dot in this position. But I've used these before and I know what they're talking about, which is this little doodat here. Yeah? So on the actual base of the pole... It's got a black dot, if you can see. So that's the only thing that I thought sounded a bit... Of, if they just said it's surrounded by a black dot, I think that would have been easier to someone who didn't know what they were doing. But other than that, I think it's pretty well, you know, well written. I'll let Crystal have a look through this now, and then she will then be back to set it all up. Okay, so I'm handing over to Crystal now. She's had a look through the, um, the instructions, and she says it's fairly straightforward, and I agree. So hopefully she'll do okay. I will be here if you need my help, though. Right, he said that I looked through the instructions, kind of did. But don't actually remember saying it's straightforward, but let's give it a go. Right, I should know a little bit, because I, you know, good wife, should listen. Um, <coughs> edit that out, back off. Um, right, I'm just literally going to put this, like this picture, and see how I get on. So this is the battery bit. I did notice underneath, 
he's got these. I don't know. You can see that. He's got like Bat, LS, and Mike. Yeah. So I'm gonna give it a go. So yeah, I'm gonna try this. I don't know if these go well, in a certain way. Yeah, they do. That's that in. Okay, now we got this one. I actually don't know, it says LS underneath, but I don't actually know what LS actually stands for. So, uh, put it on the screen, James. You mean loudspeaker? Oh, that's what it means. But he'll still insert it. There for you. No, I won't. <laughs> it's giving some extra I'm, work. I'm actually going to put no, I won't in that section. That's fine. Right, okay. Now, I don't even know what these bits are for. Like, what's this bit for? Would you like me to help you and, like, tell you what no. bit? Right, I know this goes through here. So this is the casing, which you couldn't right. really do looking for bats if it's raining. So that just goes through there. So that's gone through there, and then I'm gonna. Oh, this one. So, oh, right, okay. It's got a little. I don't know if you can see it. Little holes in it. So that's gonna go. Oh, does it have to go a certain way? I'm guessing no. Yes, it does. Most definitely it does. Tells me. It most definitely does just there, where it tells you which way to do it. Right, let's have a read then, because I've just noticed this no. bit here. <laughs> With no help at all. No help needed at all. Microphone. Here you have to connect the black cable. Oh, right, okay. With the black. So that's, I'm guessing, black on black then, is there? We go with black on black. I've just noticed something up here. Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Ground right side into the photo marked with a black dot. I'm that's what I'm going to go with. It's just a load of gibberish. Okay, so we're going to go black on black. I've just, that's a good idea. I just read it now. Found it no, did you? Well done, well done. Found it all by myself. Mm. Try not to squeeze the microphone too much. I thought it would like slide on like a sleeve. It's literally just, literally just in the entrance. Okay, so that's like that. So, turn over the page. And then I'm gonna go. Try not to help you too much. Hang on. But, okay. I'll do it and then you can tell me if it's wrong. Yeah, but once you've done what I'm going to suggest, you have gone a bit too far. Right. Can I just stop you to tell the audience, please don't push on these bits that are soldered in because she nearly pulled the wires out there. Don't do that. If you're going to push anywhere, push on another part of it. Continue. Yeah, I've just read now. <laughs> It said, don't push on these parts here, you know, push anywhere else. Also, before you put that in, plug this in so you don't have to try and plug it in from that side later. So I've just read now. All right, don't get home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're all connected there, like the previous picture. And then, it's a bit awkward that is, you know. Maybe. Yeah. No, it's the top one that's the problem. Okay, so, oh, look, it's come out, look. Yeah, well, we can put okay, that in so later. Put that through there. Like that. I wouldn't bother trying to poke, poke that through um, on yet. I would try and deal with the rest of it first. <laughs> Never mind then. Back seat, 
bat detector. Okay, right, so that's through there. Um, I'm hoping for another picture. Right, okay, I don't know what those are for. Let's turn it over. I don't like the fact that that comes out. You know, when you're making something, there's always like extra pieces. Not in Is this that going to be no, the case? No, no, no. Do you want me to tell you? I'm thinking this. I'll give you a, <laughs> give you a clue. You said you wanted another picture. Maybe there's one there. So, by the looks of it, that one first. Okay, with the power of editing, that was, I did it, no, no power of editing, I did it really super quick. Um, <coughs> First cough. Okay, so we're going to go with... Stop. Is it all the way round? Have you wound it? Yeah, as tight as it will go? No. So now you're putting it on, it's there, now okay, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Sorted. But then that's not one. So put it on, take it off and put it on properly. <laughs> doesn't want to go on. Don't worry about it, we'll sort it out. Okay. And we'll just do the last button. Oh. How will I know which is the up and which is the down? What do you mean? Well, that's, are you, because this one's down, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's yeah. off now. And then it's up is always to the right. Not always, but most of the time. But the seed, like, it's not... But how you're going to work out kilohertz on that, I'm not sure. Okay. So we're going to have to ram it at a bat and hope for the best. I'm click on that. Right, okay. Well, so far so good. I think, well, I say so far so good. It's together. But I wouldn't be happy with it. In the fact that, like, that's not on properly. You can't get that onto a proper dial. The fact that the battery is here thing. You know, if you've got a child that is interested in bats and you want to get them started on something like this, or a child that likes, you know, these components, putting them together and whatever, great. But because we've done a couple of bat tours, walks already, I'm just not convinced it's going to work. But we'll find out later. Okay, it's me back. And I've managed to sort out the dials. Um, as in, they're both now on zero. But the one thing I can't do, which she was struggling with as well, was get these to go up here any more than that. The only way I could do it is if I was to loosen them off. But I, I physically can't push them up any further without using tools. And the idea is this is not to use any tools. So that's the best we can get this without, you know, gluing it or whatever. So we're going to put a battery in it and we're going to give it a test. Right, next bit I have to do is attach the battery. There, there, Chris, Chris, in front of us. There's a bat there just in front of us. Oh, no noise. There it is. Someone's going around the corner with a torch. Oh. There it is. Yeah. We can hear it on the thing. There it is. There it is. There it is. Did you see it? You could probably hear that one as well. Oh, there's two now. There's two. Shut up then. If you want to put it back. Well oh, it was over there. It flew. just went past, literally, literally went past me. Us. They're after all these flies, basically. Yeah. So if we stay here as long as we can. So if we stay still. I literally went over my head. Like, I could feel it. it. Actually, yeah. yeah, it came really close. It was literally about up, oh, about God, a foot above me. Yeah, I should have got a hood on. Why? They won't go near your hair. Oh, good. That's one of the myths. Oh, thank goodness. Glad it's a myth. It should stay a myth. Okay, actually, 
Oh. There it was. She went straight past. Point over that way. Yes, it went over the. Okay, guys, just to let you know, I'm using manual focus to hopefully be able to get a better picture for you, but it is quite difficult in this low light. And if you do hear noises behind you, it's a murderer. It's a cow. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah a cow. Where? Hello, John Cow. Uh, no, that's Dave. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry, that is Dave, you're right. Silly, Silly moo. Keep walking. Just stay by here a minute. I think it just burps. It literally keeps flying it's up and down. If you point in front. Walk along again. Literally flew up and down about. Oh, put your finger off. That's it. Just flew past. Did you see it? Yeah. Every time I go to grab it, there it is. There it is. Nice to catch one on the actual video. In front is it one over there? I think that. Okay, so the bat detector was given to my wife for her birthday, but it was just coming out of bat season. Um, so we've only just had a chance to use it. So it's been quite some time in between, but it all still works and it's really, really good fun. And we really did enjoy ourselves. And Crystal said she really loves it. I think I'll definitely make some sort of case for it. So it's a bit more waterproof and a little bit more compact because it's all very spread out and it doesn't really need to be, but that'll be another video in the future. Anyway, thanks again to my patrons. Thanks to you guys for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.